Hello guys, welcome to AK Academy. Today I am going to cover PMF and CDF in probability distribution. Today we are going to learn about probability mass function and cumulative distributive function. Before starting this video, I would strongly recommend you to view my previous video that is part 1 in which I have covered the basics to understand or to solve the problems of PMF and CDF. So let's start with question number 1. Question number one says verify whether each of the following functions can be regarded as PMF for the given values of x where x is equals to 1 where x is equals to 0 1 2 and 3 and p of x is equal to 0 0.5 0 0.2 0 0.18 and 0 0.12 where this x is our random variable and probability of x is probability at that random variable x. So probability at x is equal to 0 is 0 0.5, 1 is 1, 0 0.2 and so on. So pi that is probability. Probability is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equals to 1. In, a, in my previous video I have said that probability can never be negative that is never be less than 0 and never be greater than 1 okay probability can never be greater than 1 okay that's what it is written and your summation of xi pi we have to verify now that is whether it is pmf so pmf means the total of all probability that is, that means the total probability will should be equals to 1 if it is equals to 1 then it is a PMF. So let's verify 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.18 plus 0 0.12 is equals to 1. It, it is equals to 1. So it is a PMF. You can solve this and verify that whether it is equals to 1 or not. It is equals to 1. Hence P of X can be regarded as PMF of a random variable X. So let's move to the question number 2. Here random variable x is minus 1, 0 and 1. P of x is 0, minus 0 0.2, 1 and 0 0.2. Where probability of, let's move to the solution. Probability of x is equals to minus 1 is equals to probability of minus 1. That is probability of x is equals to minus 1 is equals to minus 0 0.2. That means probability is less than 0 which doesn't satisfy. I have said that probability can never be negative. Probability can never be negative. But here probability is negative. So it cannot be regarded as a PMF of a random variable x. Okay. Hope so you have understood the concept of PMF. So let's move to towards one more question of PMF. Wow. So let's read, read out the question. Determine such that determine such that the following function is a PMF probability of x is equals to k for x where x is our random variable x is equals to 0 up till 4 and k is greater than 0 ok otherwise 0 <coughs> let's move to the solution here 4 and x 4x can be written as 4c x so let's found Let's find the probability of x at these random variable values. So probability of x is equals to 0 is equals to k 4 0. Substitute the value of x here. Simple. Very simple. Just substitute the value of x one by one. So first we are substituting 0. So prob probability of x is equals to 0 is 4 0. And we know that this can be written like 4 c x. Okay then k multiply by 4c0 and c0 is equals to 1 we have I've covered the these c wala topic in my previous video so 4c0 is 1 where n is 4 and 0 k multiply by 1 is equals to k then probability of x is equals to 1 here 4c1 and c1 is equals to n so k is equals to k multiply a sorry k multiply by 4 c1 is equals to k multiply by 4 and 4 k similarly here it is done 
for k is equal to, x is equal to 2 3 and 4 here we have found a random variable for probability for all the values of the random variable so here it is given determine k such that the following function is a pmf it is given that the following function is a pmf what does it it means if the following function is pmf then the probability is equals to 1 total probability is equals to 1 that that is written here probability of x is equals to 0 1 2 3 and 4 is equals to 1 substituting the values of these probabilities that we have found here k 4k 6k and 4k k we are substituting these values k plus 4k plus 6k plus 4k plus k is equals to 1 after adding these these values we got 16k is equals to 1 and this k will here it is here multiplying here and if we want to transfer it on the opposite size of the is equals to sign it will divide therefore k is equals to 1 upon 16 okay hope so you have got the concept of pmf now so let's move on to the questions of cdf here let's read out the question here you will understand the but how to find cdf or what is cdf let's start let's start in a pmf of a random variable x two entries are missing here the missing entries okay they are denoted by a and b okay what it is saying to find us a and b and it is given b is equals to 2a and it's also asking to obtain the cdf of x so let's move on towards the solution here we know now we don't have to find each probability we just have to find a and b okay so and it is also given it is a pmf okay it is a pmf it is given so total probability is equals to 1 total probability is equals to 1 probability of x is equals to 1 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is equals to 1 why because it is given that it is a pmf so let's move further substitute the values of x is equals to 1 probability of x is equals to 2 x is equals to 3 4 and 5 so we got this 1 by 20 plus 3 by 20 plus a plus b plus 1 by 20 is equals to 1 after adding after adding these values we got 5 by 20 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 1 5 5 by 20 and b is equals to 2a here it is given now b is equals to 2a so we are substituting this 2a against this b so is equals to 1 so 2a plus a 3a and 5 by 20 it we are transferring it here so it is positive here so it will be negative so 1 minus 5 by 20 is equals to 15 by 20 how it is 15 by 20 20 will multiply by 1 and 20 minus 15 20 minus 5 sorry 20 minus 5 20 minus 5 is 15 upon 20 and this 3 will divide here so this 3 will go to the division so a is equals to 5 by 20 okay we can also write as 1 upon 4 and after once we got a we can easily found b how it is given b is equals to 2a so we'll substitute in this relation b is equals to 2a b is equals to so b is equals to 2 multiply by 1 upon 4 one, where 1 upon 4 is the value of a 2 multiply by 1 upon 4 2 ones are 2 twos are 4 so we got 1 by 2 okay let's move on we got the PMF the PMF of random variable X here it is written we want to find just a and B so let's see these these only here we got the value of a 5 by 20 is equal to 1 by 4 so 5 by 20 is more suitable so we will substitute 5 by 20 okay and for the value of B we got 1 by 2 so we are just multiplying we are just multiplying here 
we are just multiplying by 10 in the value of b so we got 10 by 20 and now the main concept of cdf what is our cdf so let's see let's see see p in pmf it is written as p is equals to x is equals to x in cdf we will written f of xi what we will write f of xi just a minor difference nothing complicated okay see the first entry will always be same in pmf and cdf the second entry will be summation of first two what is summation we have to add them so 1 by 20 plus 3 by 20 is equals to 4 by 20 here it is written 4 by 20 okay now third entry is summation of first second and third entry okay let's add them five third entry in cdf huh? so 5 plus 3 plus 1 what we got 9 9 by 20 here it is written and similarly for this and the last value will always equals to 1 how it is equals to 1 let's see 10 plus 5 15 15 plus 3 5 10 plus sorry 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 if you add these numbers you will get 1 if you add all these number 10 plus 5 15 15 plus 3 17 18 and yes 18 19 and 20 20 by 20 is equals to 1 okay hope so you have also got the concept of cdf it's just you have to add the values of probability of x is equals to x in pmf and you'll get the cdf by adding these values okay so let's move on further in my next video i'll cover mean and variance in which you'll go you'll came to know what is e of x and what is p of x so guys thank you for watching and please like subscribe and share and please share on your whatsapp group if you found my video useful and please press the bell icon to get my video notifications thank you very much see you soon guys